ukuthi sini yana mshanje ka money matters nje kumbabe sendu kubisile na mshanje we talking about uh, responsible lending kukubaleki ile kuba eh, abandu eh, babe kuinda wiyo kutata izi kubizu lungileo with regards to ukuboleka imali umsegelo eh, ukwenza i budget na kubane plan pam kukubeka ntuboleki imali can create uh, healthier lending habits for wena oza utasipika kusele ngono eh, nguyeke umisikabelo teme she's a communication liaison eh, upuma kena kepa eh, kwa credit ombat uza utasipika kuseke talenta sa ya na mshanje mister mma si itata tu wasika mkele kwa nkubo i true experience or true fm si mwulele kakulu nga kwa shoto was palona nga lenta sa ya na mshanje good morning baba loncha ni sad i'm good loncha ni wanufuke kakle and thank you very much for the good music <laughs> so you also agree a lot of people are coming through i'm happy that you also uh part of the people that are enjoying the music i'm gonna keep them coming don't worry please do all right okay mr 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 responsible money lending irresponsible lending when you speak about irresponsible lending, number one, it is basically balancing responsibilities with rights. As much as as Tina as ama consumers see now ama lungelo, but we also have a responsibility when it comes to lending practices or our uh borrowing uh habits basically. Mm. So it's it kinda basically on knowing who to borrow from. Yes. So and how and I see somebody who gulela paya and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go in and borrow money. But I need to understand Uguti is a credit provider registered with the NCR and if at all they are not, we advise as a credit ombud as well as the microfinance uh South Africa Uguti rather do not borrow from those micro lenders. And it's also important Uguti Uazi now Uguti when do I borrow as a consumer? We don't want Uguti uh, it should be something that is actually uh, weighing heavy on consumers, but rather it should be a tool that is used to take you out of a certain situation. To, it's, it's an aiding tool basically, and not something that is there to destroy your life as a consumer. And also to know as a consumer, very, very importantly, where to go when you are not happy with how you are being treated by the credit provider. All right. Now, Ms. Demi, you mentioned something very crucial. You spoke about the importance of knowing who uh, to borrow money from. Why is it important for a consumer to know who to borrow money from? And how does one acquire this knowledge? Sinabono Machonisa, for example? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I know Kuti sometimes it's easier to go to Umachonisa because number one, I buy the assessment and you just borrow and then after that you pay them back. But in like it is that if at all Umachonisa is not registered or rather a micro lender, I could register with the National Credit Act. They will number one be charging you exorbitant interest fees. So Uzoboleka a hundred rent and pay back a hundred and fifty. That's already Maybe 50 percent of interest that you need to pay back which is unlawful so if at all you are being treated unfairly by an unregistered credit provider mm. it becomes very difficult for you as a consumer to be protected okay so um do you have Zinjani, then if it's the right time to borrow money or not basically i i always say that uh, we plan for credit as well um, and then you decide, Ukuti, yes, now I'm going to borrow because I feel like I'm in a corner. You plan I was for about that to say well. that. What if it's an emergency? If it's an emergency, it's understandable. But also understand, Ukuti, yes, it's extra money. Mm. But don't forget, Ukuti, that 500 is Zongena Nama fees and interest as well. Okay. So you don't just decide, Ukuti, yes. I'm going to go and borrow, but don't take into account, Uguti, the following month, you need to include the monthly installment in your budget. So your monthly budget needs to include those installment, uh, installments, okay. because if you don't, then you're going to land in trouble. All right.
Now, um, we always ask Mpula Puli to be part of your conversation. As to Mr. A few uh, questions I've got for you. Kanya Cruz Magi, uh, sitting in a hashtag true experience. We have Moza Uti, when you are blacklisted, blacklisted, can you get a loan? And if, if your bank take you to credit bureau and you need a loan, uh, can you be able, how can you be able to get help about that issue? When you are blacklisted, it's very difficult. It's, it's a, a challenge, basically, because, number one, the reason why it's now on my credit profile, it's so that prospective credit providers can look at our behavior in terms of how we pay our debt. And if at all they see Uguchi, you are blacklisted, they see you as a risk okay. uh, when it comes to uh, lending. So basically, when they see that you're a risk as a consumer, they might not then grant you the credit. Mm. But if at all you do get declined, it is very important that you do ask uh, the credit provider to give you the reasons as to why they declined. Sometimes it may not be Uguchi, you are blacklisted, but it may be an affordability issue. Okay. Okay. It's very important to find out. Mm. And if indeed um, your bank does list you at the credit bureaus, uh, it's something that you can resolve by making arrangements in a bank or if at all you are unable to make payments or regular payments mm. or payments as you had uh, agreed initially. Make sure you contact your credit provider, make arrangements and stick to those arrangements. Yeah. After you've paid up your account, then you know which credit profile as well will be updated. Alright, we have Luvo Ngeyana Yena. Uh Unga Yungi Sancha ni um imbue credit score wako uzugandi inche. It's also um a matter of having to ensure that you make ama regular payments. Okay. If at all when Zagalaguchi previously came you are unable to make regular payments and Monday credit score Yako has been affected. It's, it's a waiting game basically. So if at all on a Monday you've paid it up and your credit profile has been updated, Uguchi account has been paid up and closed, you then do the waiting game. And if at all it happens, Uguchi, because the thing is, once you have paid up your account, it doesn't mean Uguchi the account will be immediately removed oh. from your credit profile Yako. Yes. So as per the National Credit Act, the retention period for that account is only five years after you've made, you've paid up um, that account. Okay. So if at all, um, after five years, the account is still reflecting, right. then you may dispute the information. But it does not mean, Uguchi, your credit score will only be improved okay. after the five years. During the course of that five years, your credit score will improve. All right. Speaking of uh, dispute, in a case, apo umdu ebolege imali as a couple, some form of discrepancy with the credit provider, umshambi angayapi for ufumanungaitu. You can definitely come to e-credit ombud. I mean, we are a body that enforces fairness in credit and credit bureau um, matters. So if at all, as a consumer, you see that, you know what, I'm not being treated fairly. Yeah. We urge consumers, I'm not going to make payment to spite e-credit pro- credit provider. Okay. But at the end of the day, it will affect our winner and e-credit score. Yeah. Rather contact the credit ombud and we will be able to uh, briefly, we've got just under a minute, Mr. Bezesipi Consumer Credit Right on Otis Lengazo, or guys, Kobi Sengazo, non Pula Pulling Aluminium and Plants. Uh, the quick uh, rights basically, you have the right number one to apply for credit, okay. you have the right to reasons for credit being refused, and very importantly, a right to information in an official language. And to also receive documents from a credit provider. That would be your statements of accounts, your initial agreement, and all of those documents you have the right to receive. And you also have the right to confidential treatment Mm -hmm. and the right to access and challenge credit records and information. All right. Mr. Mengenga, Masi Bambe Apo, once again, thank you so much uh, for coming through and spending time with us. I've had a good true experience with the Tananatike and We're responsible money lending. Hoping that you're going to continue with us on the show. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep on that beautiful music for you. Thank you very much. You are helping me with my work. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
And that's how we wrap it up. Money Matters, where to and I'm where we help you secure the bag. These are conversations that are needed to have on Pull Up Pull, and I'm hoping you are also taking notes as I am definitely taking us to 10 o'clock is Poison. Ngomaga, the late Aliyah and the weekend.